Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video, an informational video. I have been seeing a lot of decluttering and I have also um, decluttering myself, but I just wanted to get on here to kind of, for those that are either questioning or wondering or how to make your makeup last basically in your collection, I just wanted to share my tips and tricks of what I do, what I would recommend. Um, obviously, I, it, it is just my opinion and what I do, so everyone is different, so I will touch base on that as I get more into detail. But first, if you are new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do like it. It helps me out so, so much. And let's get on with the video. Now, as I mentioned, I have seen a lot of decluttering videos and a lot of people giving their opinions on when you should toss things and how you should keep things and so on and so forth. Before I obviously get started, a a lot of these things are common sense, but some of us honestly either forget or really aren't aware. I know I do have some family members that have absolutely no clue, so maybe this video might help somebody out there that is new to makeup or actually genuinely has no idea of how to maintain their makeup. So first and foremost, I would honestly recommend to analyze your skin. And what I mean by that is if you have very, very sensitive skin or can your skin literally take anything you slap on it. These are variations you really have to consider when it comes to how long you should keep certain makeup products in your collection because if you're prone to breakouts or you get rashes really easily or things irritate your skin, you should really use guidelines more to heart than others if that's something that is very important to you. So what I mean by that is every single makeup product will have some sort of longevity or guide to tell you how long things last. For instance, this lip product here, there is a little jar right there that says 12 months. So you're, they're giving you a guideline as to when things should stay in your collection. And what I mean by guidelines is, how many of you have purchased the Modern Renaissance over six months ago and still have it in your collection? If you look on the back of your Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia, it says you are supposed to keep it for six months. Have any of you guys thrown it out after six months? I really want to know because I know I haven't. That sucker took me a while to get and I'm keeping it for six months, more than six months. I'm keeping that sucker until I, I finally decide to let it go. <laughs> but that's what I mean. I mean, these products will have guidelines. And for me personally, everything I, I tweak. If it's, a, if it's a liquid product, if it's a product that I know that is a cream, I tend to keep those guidelines a little bit more closely um, in, the, in the expiration range than I do other products because I feel like liquid products and cream products tend to go bad quicker. They end up getting more bacteria faster because they are a wet product. So I tend not to keep foundations, concealers, cream products for too long in my collection and I don't tend to hoard these because I don't want to waste my money knowing that they're going to go bad faster than powder or drier products. So that's what I mean by guidelines. Uh, use those guidelines as a guide, exactly what it is, a guide. Have any of you guys ever ate a bag of chips and you know it's two to three days expired but you still eat those suckers? Don't lie. Don't you lie to me because I know there's been tasty cakes that I've done that to. There's been chips, there's been candy, and I'm still alive and well. They are guidelines. I, I'm sorry to say this, but I feel like some guidelines are so common sense, but because of people who do not want to take responsibility for their own actions, we have to have these guidelines. If you ever purchase a cup of coffee, it says on there, caution, hot. It's common sense that coffee is hot, but no. We all know the story of how this came about. And if you haven't, just Google it because you will find, figure it out. But these are the type of things. It's a guide. It is hot in here. We need to tell you that coffee is hot because we didn't realize that the majority of coffee that is brewed is hot. Majority, because some are cold brewed. But the majority of coffee is hot. And this is what I mean, like, Use your own common sense when it comes to your makeup. So that's the first thing I want to mention is use the guidelines according to how you want your makeup to last or what you want 
what you feel comfortable putting on your on your face on your lips on your eyes after a certain amount of time that's on you don't make somebody force you to throw things away that you could have very well kept because I have heard people mention that they've thrown things away because people told them no after you're gonna throw it out and then they they feel so bad because it was something sentimental or or they wanted to really keep it so on and so forth so use it as a guide the next thing I want to mention is please always use clean hands whenever you're touching your face whether you're putting on skincare products makeup removing your makeup whatever it is use clean hands your hands literally touch everything this is what does everything for you every day so you're always getting your hands into something and if you don't wash your hands before you sit down to touch your makeup you're putting bacteria on your face and then you're slapping makeup on top of it and then there it is manifesting itself all over your face I have had I've become in such a habit of washing my hands ever since I've had children I've been more prone to washing my hands where they literally dry and crack in the winter time because I don't want to spread germs in my house if any of you guys have kids or have been around kids you know how quickly germs can pass and everyone in the house gets sick so I have incorporated that including into my makeup I never ever do my makeup with dirty hands I'm always washing my hands because I wash my beauty blenders right before I sit down to do my makeup so it always prones me to wash my hands another thing I always do if you are um, acne prone do not put your hands on your face your face is itchy let it itch Pinch yourself somewhere else where you feel the pain wherever you pinch yourself and it takes it away from where it is itching. I never, ever, ever touch my face whether I have makeup on or I don't because I don't want to have breakouts. And you guys have seen I rarely have any breakouts and I have super oily skin because I have accustomed myself to not touching my face. I don't lean on my face when I edit. I don't go like this. I don't go. I do not touch my face. I don't lean on anything on my face. I never let no. No, no, no. If I have makeup on, I'm, I'm going to take a nap. I literally sleep like this. I do not even roll to the side. <laughs> no, I don't mess with my face in that sense. Another advice that I can give you is please don't store your makeup collection or things in front of a window, um, directly in sunlight, directly in front of a vent, anywhere where the temperature is going to vary and kind of melt your makeup put it back together or freeze your makeup or dry it out any of that sort you want to keep your makeup where it is room temperature away from anything that can distort the actual product from its original um, ingredients original um, what's the word content not content its original form basically you want to make sure that if it's by a window you don't have your window open at all times where the Sun is directly hitting it or if you're storing it in your Alex drawers in a closet somewhere where it's not near a vent where it's going to um, change the temperature of your actual makeup going with that I would definitely recommend store your makeup and close it properly I have no I, I can tell you that there has been plenty of times where I have seen other people's makeup and they actually don't have things closed the actual cap itself is not closed all the way and then they wonder why their makeup doesn't last close your makeup properly close it completely until you hear the click until you see it um, completely twisted on completely capped on this is going to help your makeup last longer it won't dry out when you pull it out it's not gonna spill everywhere and you're gonna waste product it is just a common sense thing but we all do have very busy lives and it's just something that I always keep in mind I always make sure that everything is closed and sealed properly two more things and I promise you I'm done the next thing that I do and it is very very important because you guys are well aware that I keep a lot of makeup for a while and when I mean makeup I mean like powder products especially eyeshadow palettes and I want to actually enjoy them when I do get around to using them so what I do is I have this little bottle right here and I always fill this up with rubbing alcohol now you do have two type of percentages that I have seen at the market one that is a 91% and one that is 70 percent basically the 70 percent is 91 just diluted with water and it is less flammable than the 91 percent if you buy the 91 percent keep in mind that that is more concentrated so it may dry out your products quicker because it is so potent that that does dry quicker when you spray it but the 71 percent will disinfect your makeup just as well as the 91 but it won't dry the product out as fast 
um, just so keep that in mind I did do my research to see what the difference was um, it's up to you whether you really 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 feel comfortable with the 91% or you don't mind with the 70% I have used the 70% and it has been perfectly fine if I do have an older product in my collection that it is a powder or a cream I tend to spray it so it doesn't get ruined no bacteria grows in there and I can it, use it longer obviously with my makeup kit things I always spray down everything that I use so that way no clients are getting other people's germs in their products whenever I use them so just keep that in mind that is a makeup artist thing but I would highly recommend to do that in your everyday makeup as well it'll make the makeup last longer and you don't feel like you're putting gunk back onto your face when it comes to powder products because you have disinfected it Finally, the last tip I have for you guys, and one that I'm sure you all are dreading for me to say, it is honestly my favorite thing to do, is wash your brushes regularly. I wash my brushes literally every single Sunday. I have done it in the evenings on Sundays, especially those that use cream products. You do not want to sit here and use a brush for months, constantly dipping on different powders. You are, you are spreading your bacteria throughout all of your makeup products with that one particular brush if you're using 20 different blushes with that same brush for those few months you're putting it in every single thing that you have when you get a new brush you put it in there you're picking up that bacteria I do not like to keep my brushes dirty for more than a week two weeks tops and that was when I had my children and I did not have time to wash my brushes I am very very meticulous when it comes to my brushes because I know it helps with my breakouts I don't get breakouts for it and I rotate my brushes so they all get used and loved I think it's very therapeutic for me to wash my brushes I sit in front of the TV or I even have my iPad out and I literally watch YouTube. I watch YouTube as I'm washing my brushes. I don't feel like it's a chore. I feel like it's a therapeutic thing for me to do. So me personally, I enjoy washing my brushes. It is not a hassle for me to do. Keeping your brushes clean is a is a perfect way to keep bacteria away from your actual makeup products. I would highly recommend at least if you're not washing your brushes, take the ones that you have been using and put new ones in in your rotation. So that way eventually when you are ready to wash them all, you're not using the same brush. I have no idea. I can't I can't tell you how many times I've watched tutorials or people just do videos and I see them grab the most dirtiest brush and dip it in a blush and put it on their cheeks and they think that oh this is a beautiful color you're also using the old colors that are in your brush that are applying onto your cheeks and you're putting bacteria it's disgusting I find it disgusting some people can't stand dirty beauty blenders I cannot stand dirty brushes it's just disgusting you have no idea how much crap you're putting on your face so that's my very last tip if you want to keep your makeup lasting longer in your collection so that is it guys I know this may be a little bit long but I really did want to just emphasize on these tips that I personally use in throughout my own personal collection it doesn't even have to be a um, pro makeup artist thing it just could be an everyday girl if you want to maintain your collection and keep it for a while because you do want to use it and enjoy it and don't feel like throwing it away because it is not cheap nowadays makeup is not cheap so I'm trying to do everything possible to enjoy my products and use them as much as possible so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any other tips that you would want to share with us please leave it down in the comment section I would love to add more things to my routine if it is going to maintain my makeup longer and my collection thank you guys so much for watching I will catch you guys in my next video and don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear bye guys